whatever time it is on whatever part of the world you happen to be watching this video on. This is Ragdolls the Above Average Gamer, and today I'm talking about the Project Scorpio again. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick segment. Um, it's kind of just the Wednesday video ahead of time, but if you've been watching the news last week on any kind of gaming channel, you would have found out about the Project Scorpio dev kit and the Project Scorpio specs that were all released on the same week I was suspecting they'd be released on, which was actually August 7th. Um, I was on oh no, August 7th. What the hell? We're in April. April 7th. What the fuck is wrong with me? So... The specs for the Project Scorpio are pretty amazing. Um, supposedly, um, I guess... Oh, wow, you made that! Um, supposedly really powerful for a system, more powerful than any system that's come out thus far. Um, it's more powerful than the, the PS4 Pro, which I didn't think that that was relevant at all because I wasn't suspecting that the PS4 Pro was the final PS4 that they were going to be making. I kind of expected the PS4 to respond back with the Scorpio with something better, which I'm still expecting is on the horizon. Um, that really hasn't been talked about too much, but I, I just don't think that PS4 is going to sit idly by while another more powerful system gets released onto the market as a direct competitor to the PS4 Pro. It just doesn't really seem all that fair. But the Xbox One Scorpio is supposed to be pretty amazing. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about it, and it looks like the price point is going to be set somewhere between the five to $600 range, which makes it much more accessible than I was expecting. I was hearing rumors that we were going to be seeing a console that was in the $700 range, which sounded almost like when Steam made their own console that was basically just a PC um, and three different versions, and one being around like $900 and the other ones getting as high as $1,300. Um, that's what I was thinking. Um, no, I see that. Wow. Um, I've reiterated before and I will continue to reiterate. I do these videos with my kids, goddammit. So if you get irritated that there's kids in the background that suck it, go watch another channel. Um, so uh, it isn't upgradable. I was totally right. Um, well, I, I wasn't totally right. The news sources I got my information from were totally right. But I was under the impression that it was going to be upgradable to some degree, and I was hoping for proprietary parts. But we really honestly won't know all the full details until um, just before its release. Uh, that's probably when they'll flesh out all the uh, issues with the console and make it ready for release and probably come out with some other details about its features and so on and so forth and just how amazing the console is going to be. What I'm hoping for is because I am a Xbox One um, player, I guess I, I own an Xbox One S. I don't even know what to call myself. Um, I, I don't play predominantly on Xbox. I used to own a PS3 and then I ended up getting a 360 later and at the time I was pretty much a PS3 fanboy on the spectrum where I was always defending the reason why I owned a PS3 and not an Xbox 360. Um, but now, I have an Xbox One S and the only reason why people don't own an Xbox One now is really just because it's it's not quite as impressive as the PS4's catalog of games. Um, there are much more really great um, proprietary titles like uh, The Last of Us and um, Persona 5 and and whatever the hell else they have for PS4 uh, where Xbox has Halo and Gears of War and not really that amazing especially considering most of those games are really old franchises that I haven't been interested in since 2001 or so when the when Halo came out I don't even remember what year that was I remember it was a big deal and I remember liking it but I don't play that game at all I've never once even played... No, I can't say that. That would be a lie. I played about 10 minutes of Gears of War 3, I think. Don't even remember which one it was. I think it was 3. And it was okay. It wasn't my favorite game. But it was alright. Um, so, the, oh my god, this is going to be so... F I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste it. Did I just waste one? I just wasted a lockpick. I'm a dumbass. 
So, um, very excited about the Xbox One Scorpio. Um, the dev kit, if you were able to see that, was pre-released, and the dev kit is basically what the system's going to look like. If you can look at the picture that uh, Microsoft released for the dev kit, um, it shows all of the systems. That's including the original Xbox as well as all variants of the Xbox 360. It's not working! I gotta fight this thing. Oof. At the same time. Let me see. Oh, there you go. You got it. Um, so, if you want a really good idea of what the Xbox One Scorpio is going to look like, it's pretty much right there in that dev kit picture. Um, which actually looks a lot like the Xbox One S. Um, it's got more buttons on the face. Um, but other than that, I mean, it looks basically the same. It's about the same size. It's 40% smaller than the Xbox One, the original. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all pretty exciting stuff. Gaming news is pretty monotonous for the most part, and it was cool to hear some actual good news about the Xbox One Scorpio. Now, as to whether or not it's going to be a uh, franchise saver for the Xbox One, I'm not really sure. I mean, the PS3 was basically hated by anybody in the Microsoft or Xbox 360 community the entire time. Although some would say that the 360 had inferior hardware, um, many developers didn't want to develop for the PS3 and it kind of made it impossible to really enjoy the system to its fullest potential, especially since it had kind of a lackluster community um, that consisted what seemed like mainly of junior high kids all throughout its tenure and it just wasn't as secure, especially after it got hacked um, the PSN community kind of fell short and kind of gave another reason for gamers to not like the PS3. Um, and the only reason that many saw why the PS3 wasn't as successful... Maybe to play something else. Play a different game. Okay. There you go. I'm turning it off. Yep. Turn it off. Ha 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 ha! I win. Um, so many, many people thought there I still believe that the PS3 wasn't as successful is because of its terrible launch it didn't do well um, it's kind of like how Microsoft messed up their launch and uh, the PS3 also launched a year late which also made it a lot less interesting for many people there, were, there was really no reason to get a PS3 at that point because of that um, the Xbox 360 had already existed, and by the time everybody was even considering the idea of buying a PS3, there were already more games in the Xbox 360 catalog, and everybody had already owned a 360. So if you wanted to play online with your friends, then you may as well have bought a, a just a 360. So I can see why the Xbox One is struggling. It's going to struggle more than likely throughout its tenure. For as long as it's a system, it's probably going to struggle unless Microsoft can come up with a gimmick that incentivizes, uh, incentivizes, incentivizes, and in incentivize. Don't, don't know the word. Incentivize buyers. Doesn't that sound? That doesn't really roll off the tongue as well as I thought it was going to. Because um, there really isn't that much incentive to get an Xbox One right now. Um, it's great community. The system has equal hardware to the uh, PS4, and for the most part, um, it's, a, to me, a much more attractive-looking system. It f sits better on my shelf than the PS4 would, and it just looks nicer. It matches the white wash stain on my entertainment system, and it fits right there with the DVD rack. It, it just looks better. So... If you're considering uh, getting an Xbox One Scorpio, I would advise to do so. Kind of introduce yourself to the Microsoft world and uh, see what Xbox has to offer. And hopefully it, there's more down in the future. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the video and a comment in the comment section. Any constructive criticism you have, I love you guys. And I will see you guys on Saturday.